One Bills Drive as the Buffalo Bills now begin preparing in earnest for their season opener Sunday against the New York Jets right over there at New Era Field. Vic Carucci and Jay Skirsky. News of the day, Jay. Tyrod Taylor still in concussion protocol. Sean McDermott, the head coach, was saying Nathan Peterman could possibly get the start against the Jets. We should note that Taylor, we just watched practice, Taylor was out there practicing under the rules of NFL concussion protocol. Players can be in protocol, but still practice, and he was doing that. TJ Yates still in concussion protocol. He was practicing as well, the third stringer. But the Bills add a fourth quarterback, or at least the guy who can play quarterback along with other positions, Joe Webb. What do you make of all that? Yeah, you know, I think the addition of Webb would lead you to believe that there at least is some doubt or, or level of concern that either Taylor or Yates won't be available to them on Sunday because I think right now it's looking like Peterman is, is going to go into week one as the starter. I mean, unless Tyrod is able to practice fully both today and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday leading up to it, I would be surprised if the team were to rush him back. Signing, uh, signing Joe Webb, as you mentioned, to me indicates that there's a level of concern that either Taylor or Yates won't be ready. It's, it's unusual for a team to, to carry four quarterbacks. And for the Bills, they're putting themselves in, a, in an awkward situation because if TJ Yates is on this roster week one, his salary is fully guaranteed for the year. That's something that I think the team would, would like to avoid, but they've got to see how this thing plays out with the health of, of both Taylor and Yates before they can make any decisions. You know, we won't get uh, we're only watching individual stretching, right. you know, very, right. very limited work. We're not going to get a full report on participation in practice until after Wednesday's practice. So there'll still be a couple of days here, I think, of uncertainty when it, you know, pertains to the quarterback situation. But, you know, the only two viable options right now are Taylor getting healthy enough to play or Peterman. And McDermott said today that Peterman's ready to go if they need him. He did, and he was pretty emphatic about Peterman's readiness to start as a rookie, even though he only made one preseason start. That was the finale against the Lions when backups for both teams were mainly on the field. Should also be noted about Webb, he spent the last few years with the Carolina Panthers, and of course McDermott was there as defensive coordinator, the GM of the Bills. Brandon Bean was also in Carolina, so there's the connection with Webb and uh, those two there. As far as the rest of the lineup is concerned, and talking about some of the starting positions that were addressed today, the same starters on the right side of the offensive line remain. Sean McDermott said that John Miller will be at right guard, that Jordan Mills will be at right tackle. They, of course, were in competition uh, at both of those spots with Vlad Dukas at guard and then the rookie Deion Dawkins at tackle. The interesting thing at running back now, by releasing, and this was a little bit of a surprise, by re releasing uh, Jonathan Williams on Sunday, Jay, that's now leaving six players total that were drafted in the Doug Whaley era as general manager for the Bills. You talk about a clean-out. Yeah. So, you know, the number right now, Vic, is 22 players currently on this 53-man roster who appeared in at least one regular season game for this team last year. So that's well over uh, half of the roster, the 53-man roster, has been overturned. And, you know, we've written, we've talked about it extensively. I mean, when a new coaching staff, a new front office comes in, uh, you know, that broom usually sweeps clean, and we are seeing that more and more. To think that there are only six players left here drafted by Doug Whaley is really just an eradication uh, of his time as general manager. And, I mean, it, it has continued. Sean McDermott said that, you know, that's not the plan. It, the, you know, the plan is to bring in good players, good people in the community who can buy into what he's doing. But you can't, when you see a move like with Williams made, you can't help but think that, the fact that he was not tied to this current coaching staff hurt him because he performed well in the preseason, and the move really does leave the Bills without sort of a viable number right. two option at running back. I mean, Sean McDermott today said it's going to be a by-committee approach. Yeah. I don't think that's ideal. I mean, if LaShawn McCoy goes down, is Mike Tolbert handling the ball 30 times a game? No way. And is Joe Banyard ready to take on that type of a role? We haven't seen it. He's 28 years old. It's not like he's a rookie. And then after that, you got Taiwan Jones. So, I mean, they're really going to piece, piecemeal together here a backup running back situation. And it, to me, it just it, it focuses more on 
the, them bringing in their own guys more so than it, I think it's a it's a reflection of that more than anything Jonathan Williams did or didn't do in the preseason because he had a good summer. Yeah, it sounds that way. All right, that will wrap it up from One Bills Drive. For Jay Skursky, for Harry Skull, I'm Vic Carucci. Check back for much, much more at buffalonews.com.